Hey guys, and welcome to part. Uh, dang it, fifteen? Yeah, fifteen. But let's play this in four and get together. Um, Eliza is already dressed and ready to go because um today is Leah's last day in the house, and not only that, they're going dress shopping. Hopefully, hopefully, dress shopping. If not, then I'm gonna have to fix it. Oh, come on, girl, finish this book. Um, Eliza's ready, but she's just waiting for Leah. Leah wants to finish this poetry book that she, uh, was writing before. And if my voice is a little low, it's because I don't know what's going on outside, but, uh, I'm keeping a close eye and ear out. So, I don't know why it's saying that Marco isn't at school when Marco is clearly at school. Don't know about that. Um, but it's, it's, it's Leah and the boys' last day of, uh, being inside the house, and if you guys remember, I had um Don and Eliza do a little risky woohoo the last time. Who keeps breaking the damn? You know what? Um, I'm gonna tell her to repair. No, I don't want to tell her to repair it. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell her to replace it and then mop this, and then she's gonna take a pregnancy test to see what's see if she's pregnant or not. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I don't know why that's happening. What the hell is going on with the custom content in this damn game? Like, that happened to, um, I think Cheyenne's, yeah, Cheyenne's dress when I recorded the, uh, Legacy Challenge, um, during the baby shower those are my first time you know doing a whole baby shower thing and if my voice is really low like i said i'm very very sorry but it's nighttime so i'm not trying to be as loud as i'm usually am in all of my other videos like before so right now she's taking a pregnancy test and i don't know what's gonna happen <gasps> oh my god Oh my god, and Dawn just texted her. Oh my god, oh my god, Eliza is pregnant, you guys. Eliza is pregnant. She's pregnant. Oh my gosh, like, who is she gonna tell? She gotta tell, she gotta, she gotta tell, she gotta tell Leah. Oh my god, she's pregnant. Oh, you guys, you know what, I'm gonna save it. Oh my gosh, she's, she's pregnant. Oh my god, she's pregnant. Oh my god, Eliza's pregnant, oh my goodness, okay, I'm very excited, very, very excited, and I know Leah's going to be excited when she tells Eliza that she's pregnant. Now, um, Eliza is older than Leah, so, um, just in case people get it twisted and think that they're twins, they're not twins. Um. Eliza is going to age up to an adult before Leah does. That's why I stopped Leah from aging up um, before Eliza because she's not supposed to. Like, I didn't even create Leah first. I created, I created Eliza first for that very reason. So I just wanted to explain that before um, we get into anything else. And while this game saves, and oh my god, she's pregnant you guys and I don't think I'm gonna let her tell Dawn just yet she's gonna tell her sister and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a very big shock to her to see that she's pregnant look her bump is there and everything yep. and she's like yeah yeah I'm on the computer but Leah get your booty off the computer because you you need to hear this you need to hear it from your sister herself that, um, you know, she's like, she's like, no way, are you serious? Oh my gosh, I hope she gives her a hug because that would be a very beautiful moment. Oh, she's like, are you serious? Are you for real right now? Why is my camera bouncing all over the place? She's like, oh my gosh, well, I know who the father is, so I don't need to ask you. She's like, are you ready for this? Because she's like, well, oh, shit, I got two. So, uh, Eliza seems like she's ready. She's very excited.
and uh, well, you know, she's just very excited. Oh, they are so cute. So before, well, not before. Well, the boys are at school and they don't get out until like three o'clock. I think, yeah. So if the boys don't get out until three o'clock, I think they're gonna make a trip. To actually, I'm gonna make. There we go. Let's hope this works. So I was supposed to let somebody buy the shit before I um send her and and Eliza to go dress shopping because Eliza is of course her maid of honor. So we have her going Magnolia Promadon and here it is, Dream Wedding. But that's not the name of the story. Like that's not what I named it. I don't I don't I don't think I I don't think I named it that. Okay, so the boys are at school and we don't want she doesn't know Don. Leah doesn't know Don. I could have sworn Leah knew Don. I guess not. So that's weird. So we're gonna invite Eliza. Yeah, we're gonna keep it at that. I mean, we could invite her. I thought we knew Sophia. Tonight. Okay, I don't know. Um, hmm. Oh, and their mother, of course. She doesn't have a good relationship. Oh, right, because she's like more of a daddy's girl. So that makes that makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. So it's hot. It's all oh, might be hell in here. I'm gonna turn on the fan. Or can I? Yes, I can. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. Because I don't want to be recording and then everything cuts off because of the fact that uh, I got the fan on. Um, so, because that happens with the power in here sucks. So, um, while we're waiting for it to get to the screen of what the store looks like, um, I didn't do a speed build on this store. I built it really quick. And it's a one floor store, and we're already here. Like, as soon as I start talking about the damn store, we spent all that time being hot and trying to turn on the fan. When I do want to talk about something, I'm already here. So, um, anytime, anyway. Well, I guess I can finish it since it's taking forever to load. Um, it's a one floor store, and I don't think there's any bathrooms in there. Is there? There might be one. I don't know. But this is the store or this little boutique. And it's not. Well, that's not the name of the boutique in the gallery. I don't know why the name is different. But, um. Yeah. And this is the problem we run into. There's no clothes on the mannequins. And one side is supposed to be for the bride. And the other side is supposed to be for um, the bridesmaids and maid of honors. And as you can see, there's no there's no dresses on here. So that is a problem that I'm gonna cut here and go back and fix, and then come back because I I thought I I thought I fixed this problem. Okay. Okay. I know it doesn't seem like that didn't take forever, but it took me forever. And a day. So now I got it fixed. So now we have these lovely dresses. Um, so we're gonna have Eliza, even though it's like later on in the day. We're gonna have Eliza come sit, and we're gonna have Leo um, try on the outfit. And she's gonna try on the first wedding dress. I mean, it's not really a dress, it's more of a pants suit type of thing. But we're going to have her try it on anyway so she can see how she feels and how she looks in it. And Eliza's going to come in and let's see. Let's see. So we got her in this dress to which uh, I can't see. Oh, I knew there was a... What the frick? Oh, by the way, these are the maids of honors dresses that I kind of came up with um but dang it dang it 
Okay, hold on. <laughs> Dang it. Why am I having such problems? Okay. So we're gonna move like this. I'm gonna do it slowly. Because I don't want to mess this up. Okay. So that's the back of one mannequin. Okay, so here's Leah in the in the dress that I don't think she's really feeling it. Judging by her face. Like, judging by her face alone, I can tell when she's happy about something. And Eliza's just, you know, happy about her baby. But she, you know, she knows her sister almost, well, if not a little bit more than I do. And, and, and I think she knows that she's not feeling the dress. And, dang, I really should have changed one of those dresses. Cause I have a wedding dress in there that's thebomb.com. But... I'm sorry that you guys can't see the way she looks. I don't know if she's going to turn around. No, she's not going to turn around. She's just going to put her old outfit back on. Okay, so we're going to have her try on... Ooh, no, not purchase. We're going to have her try on the outfit that is right here. This outfit. You know what? Now that I see the outfit on her... Oh, she's a little bit excited about that one. She didn't do that for the other one, which is surprising. I didn't think she would like that one. So, found one dress that she liked. Okay. So, I'm going to have her uh, try on. She's texting Miguel. Because he can't, unfortunately, be with her right now. And he just, like, sent her a text saying that, you know, he couldn't. Oh. How come I couldn't see that dress? Like, what are you doing? No, what are you doing with your life? Can you try on the outfit again? So I can see. There we go. Oh, that looks beautiful on her. Oh my god. She really likes that dress. Listen, lady. This is our time to try on dresses. Get out the way. Okay, so... Wow, she didn't even want to take that one off. Okay, so we're going to have her try on the last dress and well Leah can I can I oh okay there we go oh she looks cute but I think the one that she really likes I don't think it's that one where did Eliza go oh Eliza had to go to work oh my gosh that's so sad she was really dependent on her sister to help her pick a dress. Oh, But I think she really liked this one. I'm going to try that one on again to make sure. Because like, I don't want it. Oh, she's talking to everybody, so now I'm not going to see her friggin' emotion. You know what? Come on, stop. Get away. Like, I know that that's the point of talking to people, but I know that's the point of having the store. But, I mean, seriously, I. Yeah, she doesn't really like that one. Since she likes that one, but she's upset because of the fact of why the earrings on her. But since she likes that one a lot, I have to take those earrings off. Um, she's gonna purchase that dress. I'm kind of upset because I wanted Eliza to come try on dresses too, but I guess she's gonna have to do that at another time. Um, I guess after Leah moves out of the house because this is gonna be her last day. Her and the boys is gonna be moving out in this part because, you know. As much as Miguel loves the fact that he gets to see his boys, okay, we're gonna get out of here, and, and she's gonna travel home because she already picked up her dress. She has already picked up her dress, and is she wearing it? Oh boy, she is wearing her wedding dress. Why is she wearing her wedding dress? Okay, so wait, hold on. We gotta change her out of this because what if Miguel sees her in the street? Like you're that eager. Well, I know she's that eager, but come on. Um, I don't want to change in the mood. No, that would just be horrible. Um, I want her to change into... This would be considered her formal, too. So, um, I want her to change into... Screw it. Let's change into the purple again. I didn't really get to, um, give 
makeovers like that because I wanted to get this part recorded so you know Leo could move out and then I can do a speed build on Eliza and Don's new little humble abode because they're like they're really moving out today like she's gonna as soon as she go home she's gonna tell the boys to uh, make sure everything is packed and make sure they get their homeworks done and no chick you're going home she wants to make sure the boys do their homework and um, if not they can do it at the house but um yeah she's moving out today she made a promise to Eliza that she was moving out today because she knew Eliza was going to do some major major renovations to the house and um, make it so that way it's only you know it's only fit for her and Don and now their new little bouncing baby and uh, yeah she's she's gonna enjoy she's gonna enjoy but she's gonna wait until Eliza comes home because it would be so wrong for her to leave without saying goodbye to her sister and I feel like this is gonna be a very emotional moment for um, Eliza and saying her little goodbyes and everything you know it's gonna be even more emotional now because now she's pregnant so now she's feeling all those emotions and, I feel like she's gonna cry now that her sister is actually really leaving. Aww. I'm so proud of these girls. They've been through a lot since like the beginning, since like the first part. And I'm saying it like they're old now, but I mean they're a little bit older, a little bit older, and a little bit wiser. And um, you know they've just been through a lot. I mean. Eliza came through and she was at first she just didn't want to she wasn't really a social person like that but Leah got her out of her shell and then she met Dawn and now her and Dawn are together and their boyfriend and girlfriend and now they're having their first baby together while Leah had twins and I really hope that it stays that way because her and Eliza having twins would be too coincidental like I would start to question my game. So she's home with the boys and um, she's telling them, or she's getting ready to tell them. Um, oh, express love. Oh, I don't have to do that to both of them. Can she do that with, uh, is that Leo? Is that Leo? Yeah, that's Leo. Can she do that with Leo? Express her love. Oh my gosh. Yes, she can. Oh my goodness. Okay, so she's going to do it to both of them. And then at the same time, being that way and telling them. Oh. Oh my god, that's so cute. Wait, when did we get that? I've never seen. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, she's actually pinching his cheeks. <gasps> she's really pinching his cheeks. Oh wait, no, I have to get a picture of this. Like, this is definitely... Like, I was gonna get a picture of Eliza and her and that be the thumbnail, but no, no, no. Her pinching his cheeks. Oh my god. Full mommy status. And she's... She's a fabulous mommy. Like... She's a mommy with style. Like, oh my god, Leah, you are such a beautiful and caring mommy. Which I'm now going to make this the thumbnail. Like, congrats. Um, anytime you, you hear me say I'm going to make a picture of a thumbnail and it ends up being the thumbnail nine times out of ten is because I snapshot that. Um, if you guys are wondering why I don't edit thumbnails anymore like I used to, like with um, Photoshop and all that. Well, sometimes, sometimes them, they take time, and I, sometimes I don't have like like right now, like when we graduating from school, and um, immediately starting work and all that stuff. I don't have time to make thumbnails, so I just use the screenshot. Damn, that's as that's as glamorous as you're gonna get from now until I get free time, which is probably on the weekend, and then I'll custom create the thumbnail and rechange it like I'm gonna do that but I'm going to do it um so we're just waiting for Eliza to get off of 
work. I don't know what time she gets off work. I think it's like 11 o'clock, I think. She gets off work, which I feel horrible for the girl. She works from, yeah, she gets off at 11 p.m. I guess they could do something. What are they going to do while they wait? Okay, she's going to type the rest of her book. This is going to take forever in a day. This part is going to be super long, because the other part was already long. Um, I don't think he, I don't think she's going to get to, um, ask Don to move over. I mean, move, move over. Move in. I'll probably do that off camera. I'm not going to do it on camera, because it's seriously going to take forever. Um, so I'm going to have, I'm going to have her. Hmm. I'm gonna have her. Oh, she finished? She really finished? Well, she did finish. Huh. Okay, wait a minute. If she finished, then where's the look at? Okay. Okay. I don't know if I want to do that though, because do royalties follow the sentence when they move out? I mean, well she did write a book, but you know what, I don't think I want to do that. I think I want her to um, get her writing skill up, so we're going to read the writing skill book while the boys go do whatever it is they're going to do. Um, I really want, I really wish Eliza would come home. Oh well, actually. Yeah, they need to do their homework. I'm not gonna wait for you guys to be able to um to have to go to the what you call it. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna do it now. Um, jeez, I don't know if we're gonna be able to move down in this part. Um, probably will, and then after that, I'll record the uh, speed build video for them to uh, do. And they're getting a new house, so it'll be a two-bedroom house. It'll be one room for them, and one room for the baby. And as the baby grows up to be a child and a teen, and you know, by a young adult, we're gonna move them out. Cause that's how I deal with all my sins. So like with the legacy challenge, when Jalen becomes a young adult, oh, it's a wrap. Out, get out. <laughs> and then you can go and you know. But I have to pick a successor for the legacy challenge and I, if I'm not mistaken it has to be the same gender of the successor that you used so since I used Andrew it, at first it would have been Jalen but because of the fact that he's going through what he's going through I don't think it's going to be him anymore I don't know I may switch it up because I, I make my own rules as I go and I ain't, I ain't the one to try and follow the straight and narrow Okay, so they just went down to 962 simoleons again, which is very, very, very sad. I don't know how that keeps happening. Oh, because she bought her wedding dress and she wasn't supposed to buy it. She was supposed to wait. But being me and that I forgot, oh no, we're not going to hire a guitarist. I thought that was going to let him play the guitar. Um, she needs to, no, 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 not Leo. <laughs> Not you, sorry. She needs to practice the guitar. There we go. Um, Leah, where's your writing book? Did you put that back in the, uh, did you put that on the bookshelf? You sure did. Oh, you think you're funny. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna have her read the cooking book, because when she gets up there, she has to know a little bit of something about cooking. She's been used to eating um, Eliza's cooking. That's probably why she got that big booty. Because when we started the, uh, when I started the Let's Play, shut up phone. When I first started the Let's Play, she ain't have no curves like that or nothing. So I don't know where she magically got these curves from. Because her and her sister were about, you know, the same weight. Okay, so Leonardo's done with his homework, and Eliza's taking forever to come home. Interesting. Okay, so you have to pee. And then you can go to bed. And you can just go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. You can just go to bed. Your brother is the one that has to pee. She is taking forever and a day to get here. 
Oh, that's because it's not 11 o'clock yet. Okay, so now she should be on her way back. She should be on her way back now. I'm about to say, it is 11 o'clock. You better let her go. Okay, so now that she's home, and she's probably exhausted. Nope, she's just really hungry. Okay. That's the one stronger pregnant to check. Alright, so since she's... Oh, now she's bored because she is um, reading a boring book. Oh, morning sickness. Okay. So, now that she's here, I'm going to give her a hug. And it's basically like a goodbye hug. And then after that, um, you know, where are you going, miss? Here, reveal deep secret. And, oh, no, not reveal deep secret. Give her a hug. Then after that. Then after that, she can, um... Hey, you so. <laughs> and then after that, they're gonna move out. They're finally gonna move out. Holly, freaking William. Oh, now she's bored. Don't you do... Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Turn that off. Well, guys, if I end up cutting off right here, it's because my husband's being selfish and won't cut off the fan. And the power in here sucks. And he knows that. Anyway, did they hug? Oh my god. Did I miss the hug? I think I missed the hug. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to have them do it again. Um, it's not like she's not going to see her like, in the next part. She is, because Eliza has to find a dress now. Um, so we're going to put the household adopt. Don't nobody got a thousand dollars to adopt no debt. Okay, let me shush. Okay, so we're gonna move household, and it's only gonna be those three, and they're moving in. Here we go. Okay, so now she's moving, and I know you're talking to her, Eliza, and I think that she's moving. Yay, it's finally happening. She's been wanting her move since like day one. Anytime. I didn't know that it did the loading screen for people to move. Oh well I guess it, it does. I don't I don't know. Um that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, that's not how we do it then. I didn't want to move everybody out. That just doesn't make any type of sense. I'm only trying to move three people out, so uh, I'm gonna try that again. Oh, I have to go to <laughs> I have to go to manage households. Oh my god, I can't. I have to go to manage households so I can um do it from there because it's not going to work if I try and move from the computer. That's convenient. If this thing will load, my bad, that was my fault. I did the boom boom. Okay. Alright. Okay. So I just woke the kids up for like no freaking reason. Sorry, boys. Uh, I don't want to save. I just want to go. I feel like I should have saved, but I'm not. I'm going to go with my instincts, and I'm just going to go. And after they move out, I think I'm going to think I'm gonna end it at them moving out and her just being there by herself. And like I said, I don't think I'm going to move done in, um, I don't think I'm going to move done in, I think I'm just going to uh, do it off camera. It's obviously doing it on camera. There we go. That's what I needed to do. This is such an anticlimactic way to move people. Okay, so he lives in uh, Newcrest. 
and we're gonna pick Leah, Leo, Marco. So now they're gone. Such an anticlimactic way. I like them in the Sims too when people moved out and they would come and say bye. That's such an anticlimactic way. So now it's just Eliza by herself, all alone. At Eleven o'clock at night. Or probably going on twelve o'clock at night. Um she got to say her goodbye. She didn't get to say goodbye to the boys because they were sleeping. I guess until they magically got teleported to the house. Um I wish they would bring cars in the sense for me. Because wishing for an open world is just too much. Because I'm not ready for all that lag. I already experienced it from The Sims 3. That lag is just crazy. I think that's one of the main reasons why I don't want to play it anymore. I don't want to experience The Sims 3 anymore. I think it's just because of the lag that I have experienced with the open world. I just don't, I don't want that experience anymore. Like, I know people, a lot of people were saying that they wish that The Sims 4 was open world, but I don't know about y'all, but I really don't want to experience that lag anymore. Alright, so now she has an empty nest, which feels weird. I mean, it's not going to be empty for long because she's pregnant, but it feels weird because there's nobody in this room now, and there's no little children walking around or running around or anything like that. It feels weird, but I'm going to end it here because there's nothing, pretty much nothing left to do. So, I'm going to end it here, and I hope you guys like this part, even though I think it was short. It might have not been, but it feels pretty short. This is probably shorter than any other part that I've probably done in a while. But, if you guys like it, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in part 16, where we we'll probably won't be in this household, we'll probably be in Leah's household. Since she moved in when we go. Alright, guys. Bye.